Have you ever been denied something so menial, but somehow so utterly important to not only you, but the rest of the world? Something that no one else around the world has ever had the patience to discover and willingness to break ground in. Two years ago, two brave souls took one step that no one else was willing to take. A look into one of the most disgustingly lazy, slimy, and sketchy pieces of entertainment to ever grace the school computers in MHS history. This is Driving the Sky. Welcome, Mawa High School, to Driving the Sky, where we look into the phenomenon that changed student integrity at Mawa forever. Right now, I have three guests with me. Ron Melamed, our special to be revealed guest, and right here we have Ron Wilson. All right, what we got, what we need to know. So tell me, where did, where did this all start? So basically, this started, this started way back in the beginning of my freshman year, I, I was chilling with my friend. We were in a, we were in a class, and uh, all right, yeah. And so by now you're talking about the, the one Robbie Hemmer. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the guy. Yeah. So what was going on there? We we finished all the work, and the teacher was like, "All right, you finished all your work. Just you know." You can go on the computer, do whatever you want, right? He went to kind of the, the underground of, uh, of the school games, you know, you're not really supposed to go to. And he found this one called Sky Driver Extreme. And that's, that's where it all started. But the thing for me, you know, I'm not really, I'm not really much of a, a game guy. I'm not, you know, I don't really do that too much. But uh, something, something about Sky Driver Extreme, just it, it wasn't, it was hit me. It was hit me different. I looked this up because I, I was curious to know. Originally, I didn't even, I didn't even care about beating the game. I just wanted to know what was at the end, right? I'm looking up online. I check everywhere I can think of. Nothing. No information at all. This game is a blank slip. You cannot find anything about it. No one's ever beaten. No one. I'm checking everywhere. And so usually, I'm not. They don't really captivate me, but. It's either the curiosity or a difficulty, kind of like, hey, think you could be me? I don't think so. You're that kind of a, that kind of a mentality. See, I was like, really? Like, like, where could the game possibly go? It's just how you make a level three. What, what, what comes next? And so that day, that day, I went to the library, beat the whole game in ten minutes. So one thing was off about that. If, if you look at the at the game's description, right, in the description of the game, it says get through all ten levels. And one guy said it was hard, I guess. I guess that it was hard. I'm playing through the game. I get past level eight. Nothing. No no level nine, no level ten, just silhouette. So I do it again, right? Nothing. Right, so at this point, I'm thinking there's, there's only one thing left. There's only one way left. I gotta do this multiplayer. So now I'm, I'm looking around, trying to find someone that'd be able to help me out with this, right? And I'm trying, I'm trying my buddy Nick Phil and Gary. Shout out to Nick Phil and Gary. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get different people to do it, and then, you know, I'm in another class. I see my buddy Ron. All right, so we got Ron down right here. So Ron, how did you how did you get involved in this in this discovery in this expedition? Well, it's just one day I was like doing my homework and I finished, and I was like, what should I do now? And then like I saw this game called Sky Driver Extreme. I was like, Whoa, this game is fun! So I was introduced by Ron in the game. He was like, Yo, let's play. We can play two players, right? I'm like, Ron, you gotta check out this game, man. Uh, you're not gonna believe me. But it's it's something. So I was like, oh yeah, let's play team player. So I was like, you know, you got that W A S. The the wands. The wands. The wands. The wands. You got the wands, and then like the air is like up down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so so we're like playing, and I got the wands, and I'm just like turning left, 
I remember I, w I was trying to explain to him the controls of this game. This game is like nothing you've ever seen before. The controls are just ridiculously sensitive and ridiculously insensitive in some ways, right? The, the best way I could describe it is when you turn left, yo, when you turn left, you turn left, but you don't understand. You're turning left when you press that left button. And I'm just like, oh, dear, this is hard. So we were we were at this for months. We just kept we kept going at it almost every single day, but we didn't we couldn't do it every single day because we had to. Yo, so we got Max Schreiber right here. Alright, so what's your experience with the uh, with this expedition? Well, one day I was showing the library and I see these guys going to kind of game. We start watching and it's super entertaining. So we end up watching multiple most of the game, like the whole period, and it's getting kind of intense. And so I talk to them, and they tell me that no one has ever beaten the game before. And I'm enthralled because I want to see if they are going to beat the game because no one's ever beat it before. We were, we were coming up close. We were coming up pretty close, right? We, we were getting better. We were improving every single day. And my boys are watching it daily, and then my boys, and then their boys' boys, and all the boys are watching. And it started becoming a problem for the library because we had to like, sneak watch the game because we were in study hall. And that's that's when everything. They kept throwing curveballs, right? Level six. Start you backwards. They start you pointing the wrong direction. Okay, now normally, all right, no big deal, a little curveball. Not, not a little curveball, kind of a big one. Because when you try to swing around the camera, that's not happening. The game doesn't want any of that. You're not swinging around that camera. So, we got through that. I don't even know how. And that's when we were, we were faced with the final level, level eight, right? We beat this, we find out there's level nine and 10. We'd be the first people to ever beat this game. If we make it to the final level, this is it. This is all we got. Okay, we're running out of time, we're running out of days. We gotta do something now. I'm looking over at Ron, he's like, Ron, how much time we got left? Looking over, we got five minutes left. Yo, how much time do we have left in the series? Five minutes. Oh, we, we got this, we got this. Dude, we gotta take the jump. We gotta do it now. No, I'm not a big part of this. No, no, Ron, no. No, Ron, we're not gonna make it. We can't do that. It's impossible. I tried before, okay? I've beaten this game before. We can't do it. Yo, we can beat this. We got this. We gotta take the shortcut. It's the only way. What? No, no, no. No! No! Everybody was just going nuts. The library wasn't happy. Uh, they, they weren't too happy about that. How does it feel to know that you're the one that made this discovery? That, that you contributed this to the human race? That we now know that there are only eight levels of the I feel amazing. It, it's such an accomplishment, man. You know what I mean? We're, just, we're, we're trying to help our mankind. We're trying to make our contribution. This is a huge accomplishment. To know that it really is. Just huge. Does not have ten levels. One ten huge ten step ten for mankind, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. All the difference. Yeah. Is the world better place? All right. Well, it's been it's been good, Ron. It's been good. Uh, yeah. Thanks, man. This has been driving the sky.